Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Comelec officials say the hash code mismatch that happened the night of elections was the result of human error and does not point to cheating. Francesca Huang of Marcus's legal team earlier claimed a new script introduced into the Comelec transparency server altered the hash code of the results files. Before this, the Rappler IT team and Pope Pius noticed the question mark in names that contained the letter Enya. The error lies in the failure of Comelec and Smartmatic to immediately regenerate a new hash after they corrected that mistake. Stake. This is something none of the political parties objected to. Vice Presidential Bet Bongbong Marcos claims the change in the hash code coincides with the rise in Lenny Robredo's votes. But Kamala Commissioner Christian Lim says officials only entered a new script for the letter N yet to appear as it is, and it didn't affect the results. Uh, it's being used no, to, to, to give a different... Uh, a different uh, 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 no, discredit the elections. The transparency server system does not understand what that character is. Yeah, question mark. So it creates a question mark. Correct. Okay. So what they did is that they introduced a script that will understand what Enya means. Former Commission on Elections Chairman Sixto Brillantes calls the hash code problem a minor issue. Brillantes is set to represent Senator Bongbong Marcos in the canvassing of votes in Congress starting May 23. The senator cries fraud in the May 9th polls, but the former poll body chief says the system, quote, cannot be rigged. There are issues in protocol. There are no issues, but it's not These are all the... It's not a quality. It's not a formal resource. Sa Congress ng final Congress, wala lang makakaalam kung may dayaan, wala lang na siguro. Hindi kayang dayain. Brillantes adds all election results have a trail that allows people to counter-check the numbers. President-elect Rodrigo Duterte's transition committee says it wants a cabinet patterned after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's. Trudeau's cabinet has an equal number of men and women, including a refugee from Afghanistan and a former journalist. Duterte's transition committee divides itself into six clusters to fast-track the selection process. Among the committee members, National Campaign Head June Vasco for Social Development, Executive Assistant Bongo for Peace and Security, Campaign Finance Manager Carlos Domingo, for the economic agenda, lawyer Salvador Medialdia for the judiciary, lawyer Loreto Ata for government-owned corporations, and Duterte's campaign spokesman Peter Lavinia for infrastructure development. Tasked to advise the team on women appointees is Senator Pia Cayetano, who's also a women's rights advocate. <laughs> The Oxford English Dictionary includes East Asian words in its latest update. Among the newest entries, yum cha, a type of breakfast in Hong Kong. Compensated dating, a practice of giving cash in return for companionship, wa, an expression of delight in Singapore. And Chinese helicopter, a Singaporean educated Mandarin who speaks little English. The March update includes about 500 new words and phrases worldwide. <laughs> Did an editorial team suppress conservative stories in Facebook's trending topic system? Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg says they will probe media reports of intervention after leaked documents show a small editorial team decides what gets into the list. Facebook Vice President for Global Operations Justin Osofsky says they follow certain guidelines to protect against bias. Zuckerberg adds the company did not find evidence of these claims. He adds, quote, I want to have a direct conversation about what Facebook stands for and how we can be sure our platform stays as open as possible. That's your day's top news. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.